Hello, my name is Dr. Vishal Bende and today I will be presenting an abstract of a recent case study titled Conservative Surgical Management of a Pulmonary Hydrated Cyst in an Adolescent Having Extra Pulmonary Lesions by a Multidisciplinary Approach. This case was managed at Sri Krishna Hospital by Kaka University, India. Akinococcus granulosus causes hydrated cyst, a significant zoonotic and pulmonary parasitic disease that mimic various pathologies and is often harder to manage than the disease itself. In India, where I practice, hydrated cyst poses a considerable health problem. I encountered a 11 year old school going boy who visited multiple hospitals with non specific symptoms. Surprisingly, a chest x ray was not performed earlier, which would have revealed pulmonary hydrated cyst. His history of exposure to sheep and dogs was a crucial clue. In the complex life cycle of Achinococcus, herbivores such as the sheep and cattle are intermediate host, while carnivores like dogs are the definitive host. Humans serve as accidental hosts. There are various serological and immunological tests available, such as the indirect hemagglutination test IHT and ELISA, which has an overall sensitivity of 80%. 90% for hepatic echinococcus and 40% for pulmonary echinococcus. This test validate the imaging result. The diagnosis was confirmed by a computed tomography of the chest and abdomen. The hydrated cyst measured around 7.5 cm in its greatest diameter, little less than 10 cm, which qualifies to be giant hydrated cyst. In addition to the pulmonary involvement, calcified non-enhancing cystic lesions were found in the segment 7 of the right lobe of the liver measuring 1.9 into 1.84 cm and segment 4 of the left lobe of the liver measuring approximately 0.7 into 0.6 cm. Pulmonary hydrated cysts are typically treated with surgery. Our case report is published in Curious Journal of Medical Science, outlines the various surgical procedures available. We employed Barrett's method, which involves intact removal of the hydrated cyst and closure of the bronchial openings using Posada's modification. The cyst space was obliterated via capitonage after closure of the bronchial openings and the surrounding tissues using 2O Vicryl sutures. Biopsy confirmed the diagnosis of achinococcus. Anesthesia was facilitated using double lumen endotracheal tube DLET number 26 branch with one lung ventilation. The patient had uneventful recovery with an hospital stay of 10 days. Due to extra pulmonary involvement, albendazole was administered at 10 mg per kg per day, that is 400 mg twice daily. Regular monitoring of liver function test continues and recommended six month period has been completed. The take home message is that a conservative surgical approach using parenchyma preserving techniques like Barrett's method reduces the risk of infection in the residual cavity, airway leaks and empyma formation, strengthening the lung and resulting in excellent post-operative outcomes. In conclusion, conservative surgical management with a multidisciplinary approach is effective for treating pulmonary hydrated cyst in pediatric patients. Thank you for watching and I hope this presentation has provided valuable insights into the management of such cases.